So I bought a small comic book collection. All right, guys, I picked up a small comic book collection. Nothing too crazy, nothing too nuts. We'll get into it. But first, if you could, you know what to do. The thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all that. Don't forget to follow me on all that social media stuff if you're interested. Check the description down below for all that stuff. Uh, let's get into it. So first, I do want to apologize for two things. Number one, I do not even remember what I paid for this. It's been a while since I even looked at it. And I, I remember walking through my garage and, and saying, oh, man, there are five five long boxes like oh geez this is a collection i completely forgot about it so i went through it pulled everything i don't remember what i paid it wasn't a lot it wasn't that much and and when we go over some of the keys i'll let you know now the second thing is i couldn't it was pouring when i bought this thing it was outside uh i met i met this guy uh super nice guy not leaving the hobby either um just getting rid of some of the stuff and you could tell it's a little bit of Eh, you know, okay, nothing great. Um, but it was pouring outside, so I had the car, you know, the trunk open, the overhang, and I'm looking through the books, just soaked to the bone. I didn't even record. Didn't even, it slipped my mind. So what I ended up doing was bringing everything home, and just the other day as I was going through it, I recorded. So we are going to go through one box together, um, and that's it. But uh, And then we'll go over some of the keys. Actually, pretty much all the main keys we're going to go over because there wasn't a lot. It was a bulk purchase, a lot of fluff, a lot of dreck. Um, so nothing, uh, nothing insane, not retiring, you know, my line here, you know, I'm not retiring off of this stuff, but, uh, without further ado, let's get into, uh, one box and then we'll go over some of the books. All right, guys. So I completely and totally forgot to record and I'm already on the last box. So I have to go through this. These are the books that I pulled over to the right. These are the good titles and these are the bad titles. Um, we're going to go through over go over some of these books in a little bit, but I wanted to flip through and at least show you something in here that I just, I don't know, I just completely forgot. Uh, when I was looking at this collection, it was absolutely pouring rain out. That's a good title, good title. Uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze. This gets pulled. <coughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that goes in there. Um, good stuff here. And... Uh, no. Well, that's a good book. Even though it's the special edition, that's the New York Post one. Um, so, whoops. It was absolutely pouring out. So I completely, like, didn't even think about recording. Like, didn't even think about it. And here we are. And I completely forgot to record when I was going through this. Because what I like to do is if I don't go through it like in place at the guy's house or at a parking lot or wherever I'm going through it. Um, I at least like to do it. I at least like to do it, you know, on camera and I, you know, in my house and I just, just completely forgot. So here's all Legion. This is all going in the bad title pile. And you know what? There might be, I don't know. There might be a key or two in here, but I'm sure you guys can just let me know in the comments. You did with the last one, which was nice. And I actually went back and grabbed a couple things. Um, and now we have Justice League. So let me let me move this to the bad pile. Nobody wants this. If you want it, I'm sorry. But it's being it's being bolted out. Stick this over there. Like that. Alright. So let's do this. And Justice League, although there's probably nothing major in here, it's still, it's still, uh, you know, that's an okay book. But that one's beat up, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, it's still a good title. Oh, Justice League International, we can't pull out of here. That's got to go in the bad stuff. So this will go in here. This will be bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad. All international, man. Oh. So this book is nice. This is the uh, Exorcist cover swipe. I, don't, uh, I think it's like a $10, $10 book. That one's actually in really high grade. Oh, Justice League of America. And again, guys, I'm sure there are some kind of keys in this little run here. I'm not too concerned about it right now. I'm just 
breaking this down. This was not a big collection. I think it was five or six long boxes. And man, there was there was uh, that's the Death of Superman arc. Um, nothing really too crazy. And you'll see when we go through the books that I pulled, uh, which again are right here. Not gonna worry about any of this. Not gonna worry about any of this. JLA, same thing. And what? I don't know. There's probably good title, like you know, some keys in here. I'm sure it's good reading. But, oh, what do we got here? Nope. Uh, no, no. Yes. No. Okay. Justice League gear up. Not concerned about Justice League gear up. Can you guys see all right? Justice League gear up is going in the bad pile. All this going in the bad pile. And now Superman, we just got to hope we find, I don't know what we could possibly find in here. If that was a number one, I'd be into it, but it's not. Uh, adventures, Adventures. That's like a $5 book. This is this is actually the book right here, out of the poly bag. So, so here, good titles. I don't care about this. Or these. I remember reading all these, man, when I was younger. Death of Superman, and then when he returned. Actually, I think the first blue suit or whatever, whatever that was. Cover swipe. Action Comics, Man of Steel. See, if Man of Steel 18 was in there, that would be good. Superman number one, not a big deal. But, let's see, is... What's his name in here? No. Isn't... Is it Bloods? Oh, man. I forgot who it was. That early Superman. Oh. No good. No bueno. Nothing great in there. All right. I'm going to break, fix, organize all this, and then I'm going to pull some books out of this pile to talk about next. All right. So, like I said, there wasn't anything too crazy. A couple nice books. Uh, we're going to go over it. So, the first thing I wanted to go over here. Uh, is Amazing Spider-Man 365. This is the first Spider-Man 2099. It has come down in value. Uh, this is the level. There's only a couple bigger books. This is the level for all of this. And I pulled out some stuff so it was at least worth talking about. The next one was X-Men number 90. Uh, this is just a reprint. Yes, it's, a, I believe, a Bronze Age book, but it does reprint an earlier X-Men issue. Uh, Wonder Man number one. Now, this has been getting a lot of love recently because of the announcement about a Wonder Man. Was it a Disney Plus show or something? I don't know. But this book went from like a 4 to $5 book to a $10 book. So I just thought it was worth mentioning. There happen to be two in here. I don't even know if they'll ever sell, but worth mentioning. Next one is kind of a key. Uh, definitely a key. Not crazy. But this is New Mutants Annual number two. This is the first appearance of Psylocke. She does appear before this in, I believe, a Captain Britain book from England. I believe, I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments, uh, but this is like her first United States, first comic book appearance. Uh, not in great, great condition either. You know, I'm not a nine plus. It's probably like an eight to an eight five. Next up, Spawn number one. There's a literally million of these out there. Uh, after that, here comes probably the first or second biggest book of the collection. This was a Secret Wars number eight. This is the origin of the black suit. He did have a complete Secret Wars run. He also had a complete Secret Wars two run. Nice. Um, but again, no big silver, bronze, even modern keys. Nothing crazy. If This is the best book in there. Uh, but he did have some graded stuff in the same thing. Nothing crazy but nice little keys uh they would be a lot better if they were nine eights for instance new avengers number seven first illuminati this one is coming down in value we already seen the illuminati in multiverse of madness sorry for the spoiler but now it's on disney plus you should have already watched it by now and this is also a 9.4 if it was a 9.8 sure this and a 9.4 not a lot of value uh next up infinity gauntlet number one this one also in a 9.4 i think there was a second one in there too that was a 9.0 uh, the next one is probably the second biggest book next to the Secret Wars 8, and this is Amazing Spider-Man 316 in a 9.0. That classic McFarlane cover. Great, great cover. Great book. And last but not least, already, we're at the end here. 
Uh, Spidey, Spider-Man 2099, number one in a CGC 9.8. Uh, we had a discussion. He also had an amazing Spider-Man 375 in a 9.8, that first Anne Wang, that gold foil. Um, I don't remember our price, but it was like he he wanted... Anyway, it came down to him keeping either the Spidey number one 2099 or the ASM 375. I told him either one he wants, you keep. It's cool. I don't care. The price is unfortunately the price. There wasn't a whole lot of wiggle room. So the price adjusted just a tad. I do remember that. I don't remember what I paid. I got to write these things down. It was pouring. There was a lot of distractions going on. It was weeks ago. It's been a long time. So uh, that's it for this collection. Like there was a lot of bulked out stuff out of like five or six long boxes. I didn't even make up half, maybe half of a short box of $5 plus books. Maybe, maybe. Um, it's probably not even that. So hopefully you guys, you know, I, I, I tell you and I show you and I explain to you literally every collection that I look at and purchase and some that I don't even get to purchase, you guys see them. Um, everything from great $30,000 collections down to stuff like this and everything in between. And this isn't even the worst I've ever picked up. I mean, and I say worse because there wasn't a lot of major keys. It was a nice collection. It also wasn't his the bulk of his stuff. He was just streamlining. So he wasn't leaving the hobby. So you kind of see everything in between. So don't get discouraged if you can't find those big giant Silver Age collections because don't think that's all I find. It doesn't happen. It just, you know, it, when it rains, it pours, right? So like I'll find one or two or maybe three of those in a row. So it'll seem like, oh my God, look at this. But then I get a ton of these too. So go back, check the folder in uh, on the YouTube page on my channel and watch some of those collection videos. You'll see they're all over the place, all over the map. And, uh, you know, I wanted, I just want to show you everything. So that's it for me here. That's it for this collection. None of this, none of these are going to CGC. Uh, these books will be available at Terrificon. That's going to be at the end of July at Mohegan Sun. Terrificon is a fantastic show. Worth traveling to if you are out of the area. Worth traveling to. There are hotels all over the place because it's a casino. You don't have to stay in the casino. You could stay around it. Hotels everywhere. Check it out. And that's going to be my next show. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, keep it comics.